fam fat basic how to calculate a fatigue life of a pulsating cycle so pulsating cycle is there are two types of basically uh, in basics if you see fatigue there are two types of mainly cycles uh, one is alternating cycle and one is pulsating cycle the alternating cycle means like s max and s min having some definite value like x max is suppose uh, 90 and s min is 60 but in pulsating fatigue the s min is s min will be zero in pulsating fatigue so if the if it is a pulsating fatigue then your amplitude s min is s min minimum value of s is zero then amplitude stress will be s max minus zero by two is equal to s max by two and mean will be x max by two because it is again uh, s min is zero so both mean and amplitude will be same in pulsating fatigue so let's see so i have solved one problem where i am restricting i am constraining this face and i'm applying load here so this is my displacement uh, contour animations looks like so we'll use this one to obtain the uh fatigue cycle so firstly you need to go to basic i am using a femfet tool to calculate the fatigue so firstly we will go to fe entities i have chosen abacus and p as i i have given the run in abacus only so finally i will choose this one this will have all the data basically the element and modal data here then you can always count it like we i have thousand elements in the fe model in hypermesh and here also it is showing in thousand in fact then groups you can go and here it is all about like like how you can uh, basically if you have multiple uh, solids with mul or cells or components basically with multiple uh, materials then it is a good to manage group but here we have only one material that is steel uh, so i am just using all here and uh, just doing this we will see this in, de in detail in later in some other videos so stress data now coming to stress data there are two types of data types here amplitude oblique mean or upper oblique lower i don't want to be in i don't want to calculate manually calculate amplitude or mean so i just will give upper and lower and here format i am giving as abacus odb just select this file and i am calculating the stresses at 100% of the load if you don't want to add uh, if you don't want to calculate at the 100% of the load suppose you want to calculate at some other load like 20% of the load you can always select this okay so your stress will be according to 20% of load but for the current scenario i am using at 100% of the load okay so your stress will get pop up this is the maximum stress in this element 1018 element i okay lower i don't i am not giving anything so it will take it as zero okay material you can always import the materials if you have the ffd files currently i don't have but i know the uh, e ultimate value so i will go here like this fp 500 and it is having i am choosing this it is a iron group and it is a general carbon steel i know that this is the having e of 500 and sorry ultimate of ultimate strength of 500 and yield i don't know so let fempet use its empirical formula to this to determine yield pulsating and alternating and all other details you can press okay if you want to export this file you can export it and give it to your colleague but currently i'm not doing that i will use that in some other video so if you want to know the stress strain curve you can always choose this so
so this is having 500 ultimate strength elongation is it calculated at rupture is around 19.9 percent load spectra now what's its load spectra load spectra is nothing but to calculate the block cycle in sunpad so what is block cycle again if you have like this load case suppose if you have two types of fatigue cycles one is this cycle and another one is this cycle small cycle and the third one is big cycle and this cycles this load cases load case one two and three i applying one by one and i want to calculate the total number of life then this load spectra is useful currently there is only one cycle here and these two cycles are not present so currently i will choose it as one sorry i will new, make it as new and choose it as one and i don't need to edit anything amplitude or mean factor and i will proceed so now i need to here you need to assign the material to a separate component so i have only one component here that is all and you can choose the fe500 and as you can see that this is a machined surface so you can for machined surface you can choose the smooth and 60 mic microns that is surface roughness influence factor you can choose surface roughness here tick mark the surface roughness other options we will visit later plast i am switching it off the reason being i am using here the plastic properties you can see here star plastic properties if you are using the if you if your run is on a uh, linear properties linear uh, elastic properties like you are not defining uh, the stress versus stress plastic is true plastic string true stress and plastic string then you need to use plast i am here i am using the star plastic properties so i am not using plast but most of the fatigue analysis is done using linear materials and we always use plast in most of the cases but currently we are not using plast for this example so strain gauge data we don't need to do anything here now here also there are certain options we are going definitely going deep dive uh, into this options in the upcoming videos for current we don't need to do anything here analysis filter we will go to absolute stress this is zero this relative stress and absolute stress means it is means if you put absolute stress limit here i am using 0 0 here that means whatever the stress limit above than zero uh it will always calculate the fatigue life so ultimately it will uh, calculate the fatigue life for all the nodes okay cutting plane you don't need to uh, change anything here okay now so output parameters now it is always useful to export the fanfet results to your own software you can always use any preprocessor so here i am using hyper view so i will choose hyper mess result here okay or if you don't want to choose you can always use visualization to further proceed process your results but i am more comfortable in hyper view so i will use that now go to analyze and uh, click on all and check input data so check input data will again uh, see, show you what is there and what's not so as you can see here for node label this one the mean stress and amplitude stress are both same which is the reason i uh, an ultimate stress 
is also written here milk and amplitude are both same exactly same the reason being it is a pulsating fatigue and s min we have defined as zero so s max minus s max by two and s max by two both mean and amplitude will have s max by two okay so this check data is making sense now so we can proceed for analyze so i have analyzed it so it has calculated the, the damage is this maximum damage is this and the the critical life is this okay again you can draw the sn curve or various nodes here but we will say this in the upcoming videos what i will do here is i will simply go to famfat and here i will just this dot dma file contains our results of famfat in hyper view format so i will click on apply and this and load case one i need to select and results one i need to select and then go to plot results and plot it so legion you need to reverse it because the minimum life i'm more interested in and this will be in red so suppose i put here one e4 so here the max stress region i'm getting the mean life so which is kind of correct if you want to see the um, mean stress plot, mean stress you can apply it, or amplitude stress plot you can apply it here. Amplitude stress and mean stress will also be same here. Okay, see so damage. You need to reverse this scale to see it properly because fatigue life we are always more interested towards in fatigue life with less number of cycles okay and stress we are more interested in higher stresses fatigue we are more interested in lesser fatigue cycles means that we should be your critical area and stress more stress is your critical area so that is how you do the pulsating fatigue uh, yeah Thank you.